Valérie has two children, Alexander and Paul. Recently, her children have developed a habit. They chew all the time. If they had their way, they'd chew them all day, so I have to put my foot down. Is Valérie right to wage war on chewing gum? To find out, we met Ralph Badoui, a dentist. First amazing revelation, chewing gum allegedly has a cleaning effect on teeth. One of the first roles of chewing gum is the effect of chewing. Chewing gum after a meal removes all the small debris found between each tooth, so chewing gum enables the initial cleaning of dental surfaces. To verify this, let's carry out an experiment. Using a dental dye, we will test the cleanliness of the teeth of our little guinea pigs. After eating, Lena brushed her teeth. Paul took a chewing gum and Alexander did nothing. Look, on their teeth, the red dye highlights the inlaid dirt. Lena, who brushed her teeth, cleaned them perfectly. Alexander, who did nothing, logically has completely red teeth. While Paul's are slightly pink, which clearly shows that the chewing gum contributed to cleaning them, even if it does not match brushing. Today, nine chewing gums out of ten are sugar-free, which limits the formation of cavities. Why exactly? The answer lies in our saliva. After lunch, the bacteria that exist in the mouth will digest the food, and this digestion will create acidity, so the mouth will become much more acidic. By chewing gum, we produce even more saliva, which is good for the hygiene of our mouth. The saliva, thanks to water and the antibodies that it contains, plays a protective role. It lowers the acidity of the mouth, which prevents cavities from developing. Let's check this chewing gum action with a simple experiment. We'll measure the pH, in other words, the acidity of the mouth of our volunteers, using pH paper that we'll soak with saliva. When our mouth is not acidic, the pH is neutral. It's between 7 and 8, and the paper is colored green. Let's check the pH of our small testers. It's very neutral. Let's now ask them to eat sweet candy for 20 minutes. Let's measure their pH again. First, the paper changes color. The pH went down to four because their mouth became acid. Paul then chews a chewing gum for 15 minutes and look at the result. The pH of Paul's mouth goes back from four to eight, while that of Lena's mouth will take about an hour to rise. Thanks to the chewing gum, the mouth lost its acidity, preventing the development of bacteria responsible for cavities. The chewing gum thus contributes well to obtain a healthy mouth more quickly after a food intake. It's also necessary to be mindful of preferably chewing only sugar-free chewing gum. Another virtue lent to chewing gum. They allegedly help fight bad breath. Is it true? This bad breath is created by bacteria that release malodorous substances. So chewing gum helps mask this bad breath in a transitory way. The chewing gum therefore makes it possible to fight against the bacteria, but does not eradicate them. Even if it's good for breath, it's a temporary solution. It only masks the odor. It's a bit like spraying perfume on dog poo.